if you could only keep your Jeep as cool as you are. We get a little help from our friends at Reach Cooling. All right, with this OEM style radiator, they meet or exceed OEM manufacturing sort of rules, if you will. And I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons and show you. Now, the first thing, obviously, you take a good look at our Reach Cooling radiator. It's aluminum and plastic. It's gonna be a lot lighter than the old brass and copper mechanism that we had in the thing. And if you look closely, you can see how tightly packed these fins are. As opposed to what we have here, Right, where the fins are a little bit more spread out, it's gonna allow for turbulation in the fins. So you actually get more efficient cooling when they're tighter packed like this, okay? Which is a bonus. Now, another thing I really like about the radiators from Reach Cooling is tap water. You know you're guilty of it. How many times have you been told not to put tap water in your radiator? You keep on doing it, don't you? Well, luckily, they've added some anti-corrosive material to inside their tubes to protect against that, albeit you really need to use distilled water. That way it's gonna keep all that galvanic corrosion away. Electrolysis, you ever open that radiator and see all that white, weird, gunky stuff and figure, what is that? Well, that's killing your radiator, all right? But fortunate for us, the guys from Reach add some anti-corrosive uh, material inside their tubes, tighter pack fins, it's lighter. They have over a thousand units, so they cover like 99% of the cars on the road. So it's real efficient, a little lighter, much better. Now all you gotta do is get it in the car.